Guys, there's a reason why Braun Strowman is known as a monster among monsters. All he has on his mind at any given moment is destruction, destruction, and more destruction. That is a lot of destruction, Michael. And it is true. Strowman has total disregard for anyone he faces off against. And that'll definitely be the case here tonight, Byron. You can see it in his eyes. Strowman clearly on the warpath. And he's there. Take down. Two points to the ropes. Yep, and the hold is broken. Leaping through the air. Boom. Shot after shot. It's ruthless striking. Carefully placed stop to the arm. What now? A uh, stop right to the gut. Uh-oh. -uh. He's got the answer for that one. And look at that, Saxton. He's running away. Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. Heading back to the ring. <laughs> Not that I want this to happen, but how does Sami Zayn earn the win tonight? The way he always does. Trust his intelligence. Sammy's good at finding the surest path to victory. It isn't always pretty, and it might not always be the quote-unquote fair way, but it does work. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. And Sammy's focus looked like it was shaken after that. Yeah, the destructive nature of Strowman was out in full force there. Chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. Oh, using the knee. Isolating the arm. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Strong counters from Strowman. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. He forces a break before the count of two. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Straight to the face, stays off the attack. Not the position you want to be in right now. And what a we just saw that. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Evades their offense. That hit connects from Sami Zayn. He should have known that wasn't enough. Oh my god! This match is brutality starting to show on him. Zayn is up the pressure after that move. Strowman able to get out of the way. First, Strowman lifts you up. Face plant. Strowman wreaking some serious destruction there. The only way Strowman knows how to do it. Clubbing strike breaks up that move. Oh, sit up, Matt Slam. Placed in the corner. Oh, that can't be this over. That could be Strowman's demise. Strowman once again proving just why he is the monster of all monsters. It is going to take a lot more than that to put him down for the count. And Zayn is losing his mind right now. I'm sure he's already working on it. Look at this! Suicide die! Whatever it takes to win. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. 
I have to say, I feel like we are just one move away from claiming a winner in this one. One more move or one more misstep, either one can do it. his competition's wrath. This is what Sami Zayn does. He fights for truth. Even when the machine tries to keep him down, he can't be stopped. Impressive sequence from Sami Zayn. Sami looking like he has identified a shot. He takes control. Prime opportunity now for Braun to get some separation and gather himself. Top position to be caught in here. So these superstars are holding nothing. Uh-oh. And he retaliates on Strowman. Here we go. Uh -oh. Strowman wasn't having that. Uh-oh. Go for the run. First, Strowman lifts you up. Oh, my gosh, from what heights. Strowman with his sights set on ending this. Ah, oh, Strowman, what power. Oh, absolute destruction from Strowman. And here's another look at what made that match so special. Shirt, it transforms him into a man with no regard for human life, his own or anyone else's. I'd say you were exaggerating, but frankly, I've seen the man in action, and that all checks out. And in there with him, Farouk, a collegiate athlete turned sports entertainer. Farouk's name appears in multiple halls of fame. With Farouk's athleticism and power, his career has spanned decades. From his blue helmet to the APA, Farouk has always been a feared opponent. Oof, man, what a hit. He gets back into the ring. Vicious right forearm. Yeah. Stopped them in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Setting up for something here. Reversed. Turning the tables there. Look at this going counter for counter. Battle of the metal right now. 
Farouk is known as one of the toughest superstars in WWE history. What's the key to upset Farouk here, Corey? Trading blows with Farouk is definitely ill-advised. As with most men of Farouk's size, stamina can be a weakness. If an opponent can try and drain Farouk's energy, they may find an opening. Wrenches the arm. Ooh, nasty kick. And that leeches some power out of Farouk. And Cactus just showed no regard for his opponent. Oh, man, a backbreak. Gross. How dirty is that? Right, he's got him here. He's got him up. And That's still a quick kick out at this point. And he's taking this to the outside now. He's cooking something up. Power slam. Oh, here it comes. Spike. Sit out. Pile driver. We've seen how damaging pile drivers can be, and that one looked particularly painful. And back in the ring we go. Farouk with a damn clear message to his opponent right here. Uh-oh. And it's Cactus Jack with the reversal. Measured up and... Boom! Drop! Ooh! Sharp kick! Piercing through the opposition now. From the top. Well placed punch. Ugly, but effective response. And that was a precisely measured attack. Oh my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Ooh, stiff punch. Tossed down. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. And he goes for the pin! Stops the count before it, too. Staying in this one. He's heading back to the ring. He's been placed in the corner now. And Wellers quickly to cover. And he manages to kick out at one. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. That keeps him away. And did you hear the impact of that? With authority. He's struggling a bit here. Cactus trying to make this match as grueling as possible. He saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. It's now suplex. Seeing right now, no one can. Cactus Jack looks like a sitting duck right now. Makes him pay with the counter. All the way to the outside. Oh man, jarring headbutt. to the kidneys from behind. Boom! Head first. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Farouk with a damn clear message to his opponent right here. What could Farouk be looking for? Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Watch out! Ooh, the high risk doesn't pay off! Was trying to make a big splash with that, but there was no water in the pool. Ooh! with authority. Oh. 
He'll head to the ring. Oof. Oh, man, what a strike! And Farouk taking on further damage. Yeah, things appearing quite grim for Farouk here. That's how you stop your opponent. Tossed into the corner. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Oh, he's got him up high. The forward slam. And we see him take yet another shot to the body. Big time play play. Good grief. Able to evade. And now Jack could be closing in. Cactus Jack looking for the DDT. The Rook's in serious danger. Cover! There's two! No! Two count! You gotta be kidding me! Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. A new strategy is needed right about now if that couldn't end things. These superstars have endured so much punishment. Certainly looking worse for wear, but the tide can shift at any moment. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Whoa. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Right in the face. My God. And he tosses it back in now. Big time close line. Good grief. Vicious knee. Jack wards that attack off. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker and backbreaker. Head it up, he's thinking back. He's got him in the crosshairs. Sky high. And he's able to counter. Farouk is looking to close this one out. Farouk gets reversed. Boom! Cactus Jack with the pile driver. That's it. Cactus Jack just ended things. Two! That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. That match is worth another look. Here we go. of this battle plain to see on their face. At least they can say they won the match. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers. Undertaker, of course, long known as the best pure striker in all of WWE. He's not the type of competitor you want to get into a fist fight with. Even if that wasn't his reputation, I don't know that you want to get into a fist fight with a superstar the size of Taker Cole. But yeah, you have to watch out for his strikes and just his heavy hitting offense in general. Yeah, Undertaker's combination of power and agility allows him to really pack a punch. Pun intended. And across the ring, we've got Damian Priest, a man whose size and agility make him complex to overcome. A man of his size, Damian Priest has no business moving the way he does, but somehow Priest is capable of doing so and has profited greatly from it. I'm sure we'll see his size and agility be a factor tonight. And that was an effective attack, guys. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Toss back into the ring. Whoa! Taker. And this might not have a 
skill set that often goes up. Can he score the pin? Oh, maybe. No, he kicks out. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Big forearm. Oh, what a clubby blow. Springboard misses the target. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Undertaker. And Priest's size and agility is negated as he faltered there. And the Undertaker with that heavy hitting offense right now. Right to the throat. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Across the top rope. Clubbing four. Priest gets countered. Overhand connects. He deflects it right back. Haymaker connects. Slam the door yet. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Drive set up in the corner of the ring. Close line in the corner. The dead man has decided this ends now. Trust the What devastation from the Undertaker. Great officiating, as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. Oh, just completely off target there. An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. I don't know if the risk was worth it. Evil to reverse. Squared by the Haymaker. Stars are willing to go. The limits of physical exhaustion are being surpassed at this point. A series of reversals. Finds the advantage after a string of counts. Running power slam! Oh, that might have just broken something. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Getting back into the ring. The dead man taking a moment to compose himself. Undertaker did it. What a win. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. Here is your winner, The Undertaker! A big loss after that count out. It's not the prettiest, most honorable, or even the most fun way to win, but hey, count outs happen. We'll start things off with Seth. Let me take this call. He is a visionary.
He is a revolutionary. He is Seth freaking Rollins. A man of many names, but they all mean the same thing. Winner. Rollins can't be held down, and he will always adapt and rise above. Sure, what he said. But then there's Goldberg across the ring. I don't think I can lift off his accomplishment before this match is over. Yeah, Corey, Goldberg is not an opponent you take lightly. Time and time again, we have seen how dead set he is on absolute destruction. Oh, and that buys some time. And he sends him into the corner. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Dominating shoulder tackle. Arm buckle drop kick. Looking for the quick pin. And kicks out before the count. He needs a little more than that to end things this early. He's taking this to the floor now. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Corey, you've been in the ring against him before. How do you tackle a brilliant tactician like Seth Rollins? Well, hindsight's 20-20, but you do it by playing spoiler, Cole. You have to do everything you possibly can to disrupt Rollins' plans to get him off balance. No strategies, totally surefire. So you have to find the holes in Rollins' machinations. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. He's back into the ring. Barely made it back in time. I didn't think they were going to make it. You ever see it? He's got him down. Is this it? A kick out at the last possible moment. That's way too close. He eludes the contact. Vicious right forearm. Single leg drop kick. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. It looks like Goldberg's track record is failing to intimidate his opponent here. Yeah, Rollins not allowing himself to be held down. Shot after shot, and slamming their face down. Kick to the gut. Ranked around into a neck breaker. Big forearm. Oh, that'll leave a mark. And he's able to reverse. Goldberg lining it up. The prelude to the end. Spin. The impact of that move from Goldberg has got to make you feel like it could be. This is it. And he fights it off. He just won't give up. Goldberg has got the target acquired. Goldberg set him up. Here it comes, Byron. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. We're going to see that. Down to the jackhammer. Goldberg drops the finishing hammer. Makes a cut. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Here is your winner, Goldberg! Impressive victory from bell to bell. I think it may be time to start counting again. With a win like that, Goldberg may be embarking on another legendary streak.